going up. <laughs> <sighs> and just like that, I'm back. <laughs> How do you feel? I love it. <laughs> every day I love it. <laughs> I love it every more, uh, even more every day. I think it's incredible that I can walk and talk and just be moving like an able-bodied person. It's incredible advancement of, of this technology. So if this gets developed for personal use in the future, or when it does, can you get used to this every day? Absolutely, I'm already used to it every day. You know, um, I, it's not hard. You don't have to twist my arm to get me to come in and use the exoskeleton. You do, however, have to talk me back into my wheelchair. So um, I already see the opportunity to be doing this every day in my everyday life, and I can't wait. My name is Chloe Angus and I am the Director of Lived Experience here at Human in Motion. My involvement um, started with my journey. So in 2015, I limped home after going for a run because I had a sore back. Um, and unfortunately, some tingling on my right toes had me go to the hospital to get it checked out. But unfortunately, in 24 hours, um, my leg stopped working and they discovered that I had a rare uh, benign tumor in my spinal cord. I knew that I needed to find something better, a way to help myself. And that's when I got onto uh, Google and I started searching the world for how to help myself and I ended up learning about a new technology called an exoskeleton. And it was a wearable robotic suit that was going to help paralyzed people walk again. And I was still in the hospital at the time and I remember turning to my husband and saying, honey, don't worry, just order me one of these off of Amazon and I'll be back at work next week. I thought it was gonna be that simple. So you can see how incredibly stable it is in all directions. So this is um, <laughs> as close as I get to the moonwalk these days. <laughs> Again, I started to search the world for exoskeleton uh, companies that I could help make a better exoskeleton. And man, I was blown away when I found there were two professors basically in my own backyard in, in Surrey, BC at Simon Fraser University with an idea to build an advanced exoskeleton. My name is Siama Karazonpur. I am one of the co-founders and CEO of Human in Motion Robotics. The exoskeleton that we are building uh, is enabling uh, people with motion disabilities to walk freely, naturally, and independently. We are in the development phase of our exoskeleton development, and this is an overhead safety harness, and it's really just here in our development stage um, for safety protocols and procedures until we can um, pass our Health Canada and FDA approvals. What inspired you to build that apparatus? I was attending a conference. The conference was specifically for um, showcasing technology is related to uh, motion disabilities and there for the first time I saw an exoskeleton. I saw excitement of uh, um, uh, wheelchair users when they saw one of their own, got into an exoskeleton, stood up and started walking and I was excited similar to everybody else. My background was in robotics and very soon I realized about the shortcoming of uh, that exoskeleton. That exoskeleton could only walk forward and the users needed to have arm crotches and human attendance for uh, balancing. So we went through multiple challenges and at the end um, uh, we developed an exoskeleton that enables people with motion disabilities to walk similar to able-bodied people. Uh, they can walk forward at multiple speeds, turn, do side stepping, change their direction, backward stepping, slopes, stairs, squat motion. And the goal is for the exoskeleton to be an alternative to wheelchairs, is that correct? Yeah, so um, sitting is not a healthy posture. So uh, through evolution, our body um, is adjusted itself to stand up and walking. If you sit for a long time, um, uh, there are secondary health complications that come to uh, uh, affect us. So standing up uh, is something that we always wanted the users to have the um, benefit of. 
Um, so um, the other thing that is coming with standing up is you can better engage with the community, you can participate in social life and um, uh, participate in the um, uh, professional life as well. Forward walking. Medium speed. It's quite a complex thing to put on, right? Uh, when a user wants to engage in social life, like going to the grocery store, going to parties, or even doing things like going to the washroom, how are those capabilities being developed? So this exoskeleton uh, is self-balancing, and that is very critical in accomplishing many of the tasks that you mentioned. For um, using, uh, for example, washroom, uh, uh, we incorporated a squat motion, uh, and this squat motion is uh, fully balanced so the users can easily transfer themselves from exoskeleton to bathroom and then uh, it's exactly the same as how they actually transfer themselves from um, uh, seated position to wheelchairs and out of the wheelchair. So it, everything is very similar to what they have already known. And as far as the rest of my life goes, I just see um, becoming one with my exoskeleton and going to play soccer and um, having my exoskeleton and I get better together and that will be our future. And what are you most excited to do? You, do this, you get to use this every day. Well, my favorite thing to do before my injury was dance and I'm so excited to show you that I'm, I'm back to dancing. We have a dance mode um, that I'm gonna show you. I can control the exoskeleton without the controller and this is where it allows me to have incredible freedom with my body and have it move in a way that I never thought it would. I could dance in this thing all day.